a story about a guy called Abraham. Not Abraham Lincoln, this is a different Abraham. In fact, you could say this is the original Abraham, because this is the Abraham that Abraham Lincoln was named after. Now, this Abraham had a son, a bouncing baby boy, as the saying goes. The son's name was Isaac, and Abraham loved Isaac. He loved him more than anything else in the whole world. Which is why it came as a bit of a surprise when one day God appears to Abraham and says, Abraham, I want you to go and offer Isaac as a burnt sacrifice to me on Mount Moriah. Now, this is not the sort of thing God normally asks people to do. And to say that Abraham was a little bit, well, puzzled by the whole thing, that's a bit of an understatement. But nevertheless, Abraham trusted God. And so even though it seemed a very strange thing for God to ask, Abraham collected together the bits that he needed, and he and Isaac set off walking to Mount Moriah. Now after they've been walking for a little while, Isaac peeps up and he says, Dad, I think we've forgotten something here. What's that? goes Abraham. Well, says Isaac, You've got the knife to, to kill the sacrifice with, and uh, I've got the wood for the fire that we're going to burn the sacrifice on. But Dad, we've forgotten the lamb. We haven't got anything we can offer as a sacrifice to God. Don't worry, says Abraham. God will provide. And so the two of them keep on walking. Now there are a lot of hills and valleys in between there and Mount Moriah. <clears throat> and it gives Abraham plenty of time to think. And the more he thinks, the more puzzled he becomes. Because God has told Abraham that through his son Isaac, Abraham will have grandchildren, <coughs> and great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. How's that going to happen if Isaac has to die? Yet still, Abraham trusts God. And so eventually the two of them, on the third day, reach Mount Moriah. And when they reach Mount Moriah, <coughs> they climb up the mountain, and at the top of the mountain, <coughs> Abraham grabs hold of Isaac. And having grabbed hold of him, Abraham ties Isaac up before putting him on top of the altar made of wood. And then Abraham picks up the knife and is just about ready to kill his son when all of a sudden God says, Abraham, stop right there. Stop right there because now I know how much faith you have in me, that you have not even held back the life of your own son. And with that, I, Abraham lets Isaac go, then looks behind him, and there behind him, in a bush, is a ram. And Abraham picks the ram out of the bush and offers that as a sacrifice to God instead. 